all right so what are the pattern that you can find in uh, time series data so depending on the frequency of the data so it, which could be hourly daily weekly monthly quarterly uh, you can actually find a uh, different type of uh, you know a pattern in the data and you can actually uh, use that pattern uh, to do the forecasting so you know sometime your time series data could look like this sometime it could look like this okay sometime it could be straight line sometime very random something like that completely random so this is totally constant we cannot do anything about it this is very you know cyclical that means there is a clear pattern but you know it's very predictable you you actually don't need a sophisticated time series model for all these things this is very predictable series this is like a sin x series right trigonometric function whereas this is somewhat a difficult to predict so probably this is one series where you need time series model and this one which is completely random you know when the series is completely random you cannot actually predict anything i mean you cannot you cannot predict anything right and when it is totally straight line it's the values are not changing there's no point using a model you can actually you know simply uh, do a guess and it will be uh, you know perfectly okay you do not need a model for all these things uh, when when you know it's a straight line so you you probably have a downward sloping you know time series data uh, you know we are we are using uh, the gdp data for one of the state in india okay so this is a downward sloping from 1961 to 2001 so you can say downward sloping data for gdp and you know there will be uh, an upward sloping data so this is the typical example of an upward sloping data where the slope is uh, upward right upward trending right it's increasing over time right sometime you will have upward trending and then downward sloping uh, so could be mix of both uh, upward sloping and downward sloping that could also be there right so this is a typical case where you know initially there was a downward slope and then there is an upward slope right so this could also be uh, you know one of the uh, so th these are different scenarios or different types of time series that you probably will come across in real time scenarios so there are different components to time series data okay so there are different components uh, and it can be broadly cat classified into uh, trend uh, seasonal cyclical and uh, the random components so what is a trend um, so this is one particular thing that that uh, you know it it i mean if you if you, the, these uh, words are simply the english meaning or the meaning of the english word i mean the technical uh, meaning is also pretty much similar to the meaning of meaning in english right so when we say trend you know what comes to our mind is that either it's upward trend or it's downward trend so if you use the definition it's just a long term pattern right it's just a long term pattern in the data either it's upward downward or you know a mix of both upward downward so that's we call it as trend and then we call it seasonal seasonality is seasonal uh, pattern is nothing but uh, something that appears in regular interval wherein the frequency of the occurrences is within a year or even shorter uh, for example quarterly gdps uh, or maybe cells so seasonal could be if you use sales data so every december right every december there is a peak because december is the uh, holiday season right so you will see that sales data for most consumer companies uh, or e-commerce companies in the month of festivals is actually uh, at, at at a very uh, high level or it, there is a peak at this month so we call that seasonal data that means it happens only in a particular season and it should repeat within a year or less within a year or less right if it is happening over a more than two years uh, one year it's not uh, i mean by definition it's not seasonal right we'll we'll, we'll see what what uh, what that uh, case mean so next one is cyclical right uh, this is also a repeated pattern uh, but this could go beyond one year right so this is one uh, where you know 
the pattern could be more than one year. So typical examples could be you know the budget, right? Uh, well, budget need not be just one year worth budget, right? It it you know it depends on the country uh, uh, and and when exactly is the budget happening, right? The budget doesn't happen uh, on a particular month of a year uh, in in every country, you know. It it uh, could actually change. There could be a random budget as well, based on uh, uh, if if the government really uh, changes within a year. So there is no particular time period, but you can see that um, because of some economics uh, scenario or inflation or recession, something like that, or some monetary policy, uh, you see some sort of uh, you know repeated pattern that is happening right uh, some sort of wave like pattern right and and two important points cycle uh, the cycles are not regular that means you don't see it at a very regular uh, interval of time uh, you know that could be up here and then long time and then up here and then suddenly another up a long time and you know there is no uh, no regularity as such and it also deals with uh, you know it, it's also related to cases where you know it happens with a number of other cases like you know economic recession inflation you know some monetary policy changes in the country and so on so some factor really affects this so it's not just because of some you know uh, the time factor like you know like festivals or something festivals are you know uh, already pre-decided right but budgets are not budget could happen or budget decision of coming up a new budget is actually uh, random right government decides when it's going to come up with a budget so that's slightly come and the last pattern is the random and this is the easiest to understand so random is like you know anything that cannot be cannot have uh, a particular pattern right it totally random uh, as, as it uh, as the word says, uh, you do not have any pattern, you cannot extract any pattern out of it, so totally random. So the idea behind univariate time series is that uh, to use the past values, past values of the series data to forecast future, right? So, what could what are the variables of interest? It could be stock price, it could be GDP, it could be sales, and so on. You can use it for you know variety of purposes. You know whether you are working in a company, you are working in a bank, uh, you know anywhere where you have time series data available, you can use this. And um, it's slightly uh, difficult to understand. Theory is slightly difficult to understand, but when you apply it, it, it's not that difficult. So some of the uh, important uses of time series forecasting is uh, forecasting inflation. So most uh, central banks used uh, ARIMA forecasting or time series forecasting for uh, forecasting inflation rate, unemployment rate and so on or even exchange rate uh, and so on. Uh, and then companies also use for sales forecasting, uh, finance company could use for uh, interest rate forecasting and so on.